Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw this Halloween composition in Adobe Illustrator. And if you are ready to be scared, then keep watching! This is size of my workspace and now you see the colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original AI file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. Ok guys, my workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. And now let's take any blue color, for example this one and rectangle tool, hold shift and draw the square. Now let's take this dark color and curvature tool and draw the shape like this. Okay, here like that and close the path. Now, if you want, you can take again curvature tool and play with the points, for example, up and down or move this point or if you want, you always can add one more point and move this point down. You can to do this till you'd like the result. Now select both shapes and take Shape Builder tool, hold ALT and delete unwanted part. Now you can take, for example, Direct Selection tool and select, for example, this point and this one. I want to move them down and take this point and move it a little up, like that. Now I like the shape. Now let's take this color and ellipse tool and you need to create ellipse 630 to 630. This is our moon. Put it here, select the moon and background and send them back. Okay. And now let's start, let's select this color and now let's start to draw graves. Take rectangle tool and draw here some graves, for example, this one and this one. You can draw any grave as you like the most. Let's align them. I draw my grave, you can draw your grave, just play with rectangles. Like that. Ok. And now let's take Dark Selection tool, select these two points and hold and draw to, to round the corner. Now rotate this grave and put it here, for example. Now select this one and let's make it smaller and group it. Rotate it and put it here. And now let's take egg and rectangle tool and let's draw one more cross, for example, like this. Ok, select it, group it and rotate it. And, for example, you can put it here, move this one, make it smaller. Don't forget to hold shift uh, when you change uh, the size to protect your proportions. And one more cross, group it, rotate, put here. 
So guys, it's pretty simple, simple shapes and easy to create. Okay, and now let's select these shapes and make them smaller. Move here, make this one, uh, move this one. And now let's take polygon tool with six sides. Okay. And now let's take direct selection tool, select these two points and move them up like that. Play with the shape like this and take again rectangle tool and draw here the cross. Okay. You can uh, for example, make this cross shorter or like that, a little better. I think now it's great. And again, select it and group it. Rotate, move here. Let's play with shapes. Make them bigger, smaller, till you'd like the result. You are the designer and it's your design vision. Let's make it all these shapes smaller, like that. Okay. Let's play with them. Uh -huh. Copy and paste this one and rotate it, make it bigger, put it here. And copy and paste this one, make it bigger, direct selection tool. Select these two points and round them. Rotate, put here. A little bigger like that. I like it. Now let's move here and let's select again all these graves and make them smaller like this and put this grave here. Okay, now I think this composition is pretty good. Now select background and this grave, grave and shape builder tool and delete here unwanted part. And now here I need to take this grave and pen tool and draw the shape like this. Okay. Now select both shapes and Pathfinder minus front. Okay. Now let's make it a little smaller and put it like this. Rotate a little. Okay. Uh, now let's draw here the grass. You need to take pen tool and egg and egg and duck color and draw here the shapes like this. It look like the grass. I draw my shapes. You can draw your own shapes. It's just your example. My design is just your example. Okay, now we can copy and paste this shape, right click, transform, reflect, vertical copy and move here. Select these shapes, group them, make them smaller, rotate and now you can put this grass in any place you like the most. Just hold ALT and copy the grass and put it in and put it like this and now you can rotate it for example or uh, reflect it vertical for example make it bigger smaller 
so you need to play with the grass as you like. Like that. Now let's take this dark color uh, and brush tool, this one. We need this color in the stroke and let's draw here the shape like this to make the earth more, the ground more unperfect. Just add some shapes look like the ground. Ok guys, it's pretty good and now let's draw here the scary house or castle as you like the most. Now we need the same dark color in the fill and rectangle tool and let's draw the castle here with help of rectangles. You can draw like me or come up with your own house as you want. Okay, now again let's take rectangle tool and draw here rectangle like this. Now move here. Now take free transform tool, this shape, and here make it thinner. Okay, now again rectangle tool, draw here rectangle, now rotate it, put it here, okay, make it a little longer, and now let's again take rectangle tool, draw here one more rectangle, and now let's take polygon tool, and we need here three sides, it will be rectangle, go to effect, warp, bulge and here vertical and minus 32%, expand appearance and make it smaller and rotate it and put it here, copy and paste, rotate it like that. I think make it a little smaller and put it here. Select these two shapes and move them here. Take dark selection tool, take these two points and move them a little to the left, like that. And I think let's take the roof and move here. Yep, I like it. And now let's move on. Copy and paste the roof, put it here, make it bigger, like that. Now take dark, like, oh, sorry, rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like this. Select both shapes and Pathfinder intersect. Okay, and take again rectangle tool and free transform tool this shape and make this part thinner. Okay, now let's take egg and free transform tool and this part make a little wider. Okay, now select these two shapes and align them. And now I need again take a rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle and again free transform tool and make this part wider. Take the roof, copy and paste it and move here like that. Okay. Select both shapes and align them. Now let's take direct selection, direct selection tool, sorry, and make here wider 
and the same here okay and let's select these shapes and make them shorter select the rectangle here make it a little longer and let's put it a little move it a little up select this shape and up and now let's take this color and again rectangle tool and let's add windows to the places you like the most and of course the door like that and now we need to take direct selection tool and round these two corners on every window and the door just select the corner hold and drag it and round the corner it was pretty easy okay guys now the same color the dark color in the stroke pen tool and let's draw here the these shapes for our windows just the line like this okay now let's copy and paste this shape make it smaller rotate it group it and put here okay i think let's rotate this window and now i like the scary house now let's select the house go group it and go to object expand okay make it smaller and now you can put this house and rotate this house to any place you'd like the most and let's move this shape to front okay make it smaller put it i think here and now i need to open the photo to draw the shape for the moon file place select the moon place and hold and drag the photo like that uh, i think let's make the photo bigger select the photo and hold shift to make it bigger okay and now we need uh, to take pencil double click to pencil we need this option here okay and uh, and let's select a uh, dark yellow color for this action okay now let's take pencil and just draw the shape the dark shapes of the moon like this and the same here and the same here and the same here okay the shapes is ready are ready you can delete the photo select all shapes and put them here now it's really look like the moon now let's select all these shapes group them and let's make here transparency 50 percent okay now select the moon radial gradient here we need light yellow color here white color and move the slide the slider like that now copy and paste the moon 
bring the copy to backward now transform scale 105 preview ok and go to effect blur gaussian blur and here we need i think um, eight okay now let's select the background again radial gradient and here we need this color here this blue color and here this one okay now let's play a little with the gradient let's take gradient tool let's make the gradient a little bigger and move it a little up play with the slider here like that a little up to make our moon shine a little bigger uh-huh i like now white color and pencil and draw here the shapes like that and one more like this and one more like this now go select the shape go to effect blur gaussian blur let's make here 10 and here transparency let it be 20 or 15 like this or you can play with transparency as you like the same here effect blur gaussian blur again here maybe 25 or 15 or 20 like that and uh, the same here effect blur gaussian blur and here 15 okay i like the result copy and paste this shape and maybe let's put it here or you can draw a new shape and let's make this shape 15 you can always play with the transparency till you'd like the result uh-huh move here and now let's rotate this a little like this now let's draw some blue stars let's take this color and ellipse tool and draw some small ellipses just six or seven okay it will be okay just some stars And now guys, let's draw the ghost. We need white color and pen tool. And at first, let's draw the body of the ghost like that. The first point, the third, the second. Now let's put the next point here and the next here like this like squares mm -hmm. now direct selection tool and you need to round these two corners like that now let's round this one and this one and the same here now it looks like the ghost body and the last one here now let's take dark color and ellipse tool draw here the eye rotate it move here and now we need to take radial gradient uh, here 
uh, delete this one and here we need black color uh, but guys we need classical black color we need to take here this one the color code of the classical black color is six zeros it's very important here and here I need white color and reverse the gradient move the slider like that and take gradient tool and here play with the gradient I need the shape like ellipse like that and here opacity multiply now select the eye hold out and make the copy okay make this eye a little bigger now again select select this one and move here make the copy and move here and again gradient tool i need to rotate the gradient a little like this okay now i think it's great now let's select uh, the ghost go to object create gradient mesh here free to free okay and now let's make opacity screen and let's take black color and you need to add black color to every point on the edge now you see our ghost is became transparent this point you can stay like this if you like and now let's move on okay let's add the black color here and in this point to this point and to this point okay if you want you can stay some points without black color now we need to fix some problems here select the ghost and mesh tool and move this point up i need smooth view of my ghost so you need to play here with points if you need you need uh, you can to add some points it's okay and let's uh, play with ghost i think more i need to add black color here okay let's look and i think i need to add color here like that yep i like it more i think it's pretty good ghost and let's again take mesh tool and a little up this point guys mesh tool it's not easy tool so you need to work here and let's move this point a little like that okay now select all shapes of the ghost and group it move it here and now group it and here transparency let it be 85 now select this ghost copy and paste it make it smaller and maybe let's put it here 
and select this ghost, copy and paste it, transform reflect vertical ok and put here. Uh, you can make this ghost a little bigger, uh, this one uh, smaller and maybe here transparency let it be 50% and if you like you can change here color to black let's take black color and add here black color to make the head more transparent and the same here let's select the ghost black color and add black color to this point okay guys now copy and paste background move the copy to front select the whole design right click and make clipping mask and our Halloween composition is ready! Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe. And see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye guys. Mwah.